MySQL is a popular database management system. Docker is a tool for building and running isolated development environments. This video will show the installation of Docker in Windows, the activation of the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2, also known as WSL2, the installation of Ubuntu into the WSL system, and finally, installing the MySQL Server Community Edition into Docker and the installation of the MySQL Workbench will be covered as well. You may ask, what does all of that mean? While the answer can be long, let's abbreviate it by saying that Docker works in a virtual space in the Windows machine. In order to do so, it requires WSL2, which is a newer technology from Microsoft that allows Docker and other virtual Linux tools to play nicely with Windows. Within the WSL environment, a Linux operating system is needed. You should only have to set this up once and forget it. Once set up, we will install Docker and MySQL Server inside of Docker. Finally, we will install the MySQL Workbench into the regular Windows OS and allow the Workbench to work with the MySQL Server inside of the Docker container. Let's start by going to docker.com. Click the Get Started button and starting the download of Docker Desktop. Once downloaded, during the installation, Docker will want to enable Hyper-V and WSL2. Allow these to happen and follow the directions to finish the Docker installation. If WSL2 is not installed and available, you'll want to follow the next four steps. Step 1. Search for PowerShell on your Windows machine and open it as an administrator. Once open, type the command shown on your screen and run it by pressing Enter at the end of the line. Check for spelling as it must be exact. Please note, there is no space after the colon. Wait for the process to complete. When finished and a blinking cursor returns, move to step two. Step two, enable the virtual machine platform by typing the line that appears on your screen, exactly as written, and pressing enter at the end of the line. Again, note, there is no space after the colon. With these features enabled, restart your computer. Step 3. Set WSL as the default by opening PowerShell as an administrator. Once it's open, type the command exactly as shown on the screen and press Enter once typed. Step 4. Finally, a Linux OS is needed. You'll install Ubuntu 20 from the Microsoft Store. In the search box, look for Store. From the list, open the Microsoft Store app. Click the search bar in the top right corner and search for Ubuntu. Find the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS and click Install. It will be installed in the WSL2 space. During the installation, you'll be asked for a username and password. Pick something that you'll remember and write it down so that you don't forget. When installed, click Launch. When done, you'll see information about Ubuntu. PowerShell should still be open. If not, open it again as an administrator. To ensure that everything worked as expected, in PowerShell, type WSL space hyphen hyphen list space hyphen V, then press enter. A line should appear telling you that Ubuntu is running inside of version 2. Once done, close PowerShell and the Windows Store app. As was said in the beginning of the video, all of this should only have to be done once. You should not have to do it again, ever. Docker should now be ready to run. 
in the search box, type Docker and then run Docker Desktop. We now want to find and install MySQL Community Server version 8. At the time of this video, that was the current stable release. In your Windows search box, type CMD. Press Enter when the Command Prompt app is highlighted. In the new window, type the following, docker space pull space MySQL. Press Enter. Wait for the download and the installation to complete. Be patient, this may take a few minutes. When all is done, you'll see a blinking cursor. Type the line of code shown on the screen to start the server and make it available to the Windows operating system. This command tells Docker to run MySQL, giving our container the name of MS, assigning the port on the Windows machine to talk to the port in the container. Both use MySQL's default port of 3306. Setting a password of password for the root user. Feel free to set a stronger password if desired. And finally, telling Docker that the MySQL image downloaded earlier should be used. When done, press Enter. If the Docker desktop dashboard window is open, go to it and look for a container named MS, which is a MySQL container. It should have a green icon indicating that it is running on port 3306. Hover over the line with your mouse and icons will appear on the right to stop or delete the container. From now on, use the dashboard to stop the server when you're not using it or start it when needed. Finally, Let's install the MySQL Workbench and configure it to work with the MySQL running in the container. In a browser window, search for MySQL Workbench. Go to the official download page found at dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash workbench. Click the download button in the other downloads box. On the next screen, click the No Thanks, Just Start My Download link. Run the downloader and install the tool. Accept all of the defaults during the installation. When finished, the workbench should open. You may see a local instance MySQL 8.0 connection already in place. If so, click it, and if asked, enter the password that was set when the MySQL server was run in the terminal. When the connection is successful, you should be in the query work area to begin working with the MySQL server. If there are no existing connections, create one by doing the following. Click the plus symbol next to the MySQL connections label. Give the connection a name, local MySQL or something similar. Press the test connection button. Enter the password in the dialog box that opens and click OK. If everything works, a dialog box will open indicating that it was successful. Click OK. The dialog box will close. Click OK in the New Connection dialog box. You are returned to the default screen and the new connection should appear. From this point forward, to run MySQL, open Docker dashboard, find and start the MySQL server, then open the MySQL Workbench tool and connect.